Hey everyone, this is Joseph from SlotDataEngineering.com. In this video, I want to talk about what data warehousing is and why companies use data warehouses. As always, uh, this is also available on my blog. I'll leave the link in the description below if you want to read the blog there. So what is data warehouse? So data warehousing generally refers to the concepts and techniques involved in modeling your data and creating read-heavy analytical type query optimized tables and also creating ETL pipelines to move data from multiple sources into your data warehouse. Let's understand when a company might want to use a data warehouse using a very simple e-commerce type website. Let's assume you are running an e-commerce website and you have like your customer portal and merchant portal. Merchants can put up their items for sale and customers can buy these items. So let's assume when a customer places an order it'll create a record in order details table with the customer ID merchant ID, oh sorry customer ID and item ID with an order status denoting if the item is ready for transit or if the item is in transit or if the item has been delivered so order details will contain the most recent information so once you have the setup and working um, there will be business requirements generally to uh, run some sort of reporting or to help optimize strategy or make decision based on the data. So some of these questions may include um, the, the business user wanting to know how many orders were placed on average per customer in a certain time period, how m what merchants were performing well. By performing well, they would generally mean have sold the most number of items and also time constraint queries like what is the average time for an order to move from placing the order to being delivered basically to figure out the average time delay between order placement and order uh, delivery in a specific month of a specific year so the the last question is really tricky because if you look at this order details will, will contain the point in time information at that state so it, you will not have a historical information so in order to answer all these type of queries and to prevent heavy load on your website's database, you might want to consider creating a data warehouse. So let's formalize these um, concerns, right? So why not to run analytical queries on your application database? So the first obvious reason is you don't want to overload your application database because that database is being used by your website and you want to keep that um, as secure as possible to only allow small read, read write type queries and the second reason is you have databases um, you have excuse me you have separate databases with tables that are across them and if you want to do join on tables that are across databases you'll have to bring them into a central location and the third point is as we mentioned earlier, storing point and time information. So let's see how this can be done. What you generally do is you write ETL to move or excuse me, copy data over from different tables into your data warehouse. So if you look at the data warehouse, you'll see like fact and dimension table. This is generally referred to a star schema um, or dimension modeling. Basically, the idea is you have a central fact table. Fact refers to an event so you can think of order and order being placed as an event and order being in transit transit as another event and an order getting delivered as a third event so you when you consider them as events you place them on these fact tables and then the details you place them in dimension tables so now you can answer all these questions you can answer how many orders were placed you can answer top merchants, you can answer the average time, um, especially with the point in time information, because you will be storing each individual order status change as a fact or an event in the fact table. Uh, there are many more data warehousing modeling techniques, but this is by far the most commonly used one. So n now, now that we understand what this term data warehousing means. So let's look at what a data warehouse database is. 
So these are databases that are specifically designed for running large analytical type queries. So when we say analytical type queries, it usually involves some joins, um, group bytes on large amounts of data, and also some window function or analytical type um, aggregates like mean, median, average, etc. And now uh, um, an important distinction is that these databases are going to be read heavy. So analytical users don't generate data, they read data. So that's a important point here. Um, these are generally called OLAP databases. Um, you might have heard of some of them like Hive, Redshift, BigQuery, Snowflake are all data warehouse or OLAP databases. A simple analogy would be use versus uh, sorry for all TP versus OLAP would be like having a race car versus a moving van. So when you think of your application you and you want to respond to your user request pretty fast, you want to use an OLTP database. Small that's what I mean by small fast transactions here. And if you're looking for large join and group by type queries, you want to use a OLAP database similar to these two very different cars like a supercar for driving fast and a moving van for moving cross country. Although you can use them for the other way, you probably would not want to use them. Um, you ideally want to use the best tool for the job. So that's basically the idea between having all TP type databases and all app type databases. So I hope that gives you a good understanding of what data warehousing is and what a data warehouse database is. Um, as always, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, share. It really helps out a lot. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And thank you.